Hey everyone. Um, I just thought I'd give a little rundown on the Massey 130. Uh, we're in the paint shop today. Hopefully you can hear me. There's you know, ventilation fans and what whatnot running, so uh, it's a little bit loud in here for me at least. Uh, you can see we have both fenders and the hood minus the nose cone all done being painted. Uh, we're just about to do some work on the uh, nose grill here. We got to take the, the logo and the bar off, and then this will get painted black. Um, the nose cone itself is made of uh, a sort of fiberglass, uh, plasticky stuff, and it was really wrecked. Uh, so, what we've done is we've actually scanned it, um, had it filled out. Uh, on a computer basically and then we're going to try to 3d print it and, and see how that goes um, I enlisted some help doing the paint so uh, you can see it's actually not perfect there's no runs or anything but it, it's got a little bit of orange peeliness to it but I think it's all it's all right uh, we're not going for a show tractor with this one it's still really nice it's got a nice shine to it Here's the tractor itself. You can see I'm in the middle of taking the lights off uh, to do some work on them. You can see it's beat up really bad. It doesn't have the original grill or anything. And uh, uh, down here on the chin, it's, it's really warped and you can see it's been welded on. Uh, the other thing we're dealing with here is I was taking the, uh, gonna take the front rims off to paint them. And we saw that they were actually wrecked here. Uh, so we had to take them off and uh, repair them. Again, it's not the perfect repair job, uh, but for this particular tractor, um, we're not going for any kind of show quality or, or anything like that. It's going to be a working tractor. We're going to use it in the pumpkin patch, uh, probably. And uh, it, was, it was a really good deal when I bought it, so I just kind of did. I didn't really have a, a specific use for it. Um, definitely not as useful to me as the bigger ones so obviously if you follow the channel I got the 165 that we restored uh, that one is very nicely very nicely done um, all using uh, real Massey Ferguson parts um, I painted it all myself there's no no orange peeling no runs no nothing like that it's a very nice machine uh, but this one here it's gonna be nice, doing a good job. I take a lot of pride in my work. I wanna make sure everything's done right or as, as close as possible. At the same time, I don't really wanna break the bank on it. It's a little tractor. It's just gonna be used around the farm. So what I'm doing right now specifically, we got one of the rims. Uh, this isn't the one that we fixed, but you can see it's been, I would say, poorly repaired um, in the past at some point. getting ready to paint it. Uh, so what I've got here is just a, a wire brush I guess on, on the drill and we're just going to run that around on top of everything here and what it's going to do is it's going to take away the rust so you can see that there's a lot of rust and a and, and little bit of corrosion on the surface here and here's where I've run the, the drill. So you can see that it does a fairly nice job actually of taking that surface uh, crap off and then even where it's, I would say, nicer, <laughs> certainly not nice, but where there's no corrosion or anything, that brush is going to rough it up so the paint sticks nicely, because we're not going to prime this um, or strip it right down. We're just going to go over it with this, this brush here, rough it up, get rid of the rust, and then we'll put on the uh, genuine uh, Agco Massey paint. time how nice of a job that does um, at getting that surface rust up and then you can also see how it's I'll try to get some of the dust off here you can see how it's sort of roughing it up 
and that's going to work nicely for, for what we're trying to do. And that's actually what we did um, on the other restorations as well. Um, just makes it a little less time consuming. Um, still looks really, really nice um, with the finished product as long as you do it right. I mean, this one's going to be so-so just because the rim is so messed up to begin with. Uh, but by and large, this method um, is going to do a nice job for you. So I think I'm more or less done on the rim. I haven't started on the inner part here. Um, you can see what that's done. I don't think I know how to put a before and after picture side by side. Uh, but you can see definitely that there's a huge difference with the amount of surface rust and, and corrosion and all that crud that was on here. Uh, it's also textured, so the paint will stick. And then another reason um, that we're maybe not trying quite as hard here, uh, it's a compound of reasons. One is, like I said, it's a working tractor, this 130. Um, it's not a show tractor, so it doesn't need to be perfect in general I still want it to be as good as possible but then you got to look at you know this rim is is busted here sure it's been fixed I don't feel like it's gonna fall off or anything but eventually I think I'm gonna probably get a new rim and then also you can see here that's clearly a problem right around the stem here and I don't think I can repair that maybe it's repairable um, but anyway, that, that's another sort of reason that, that this rim will need to be replaced sooner or later, probably sooner. I think something else important to talk about is this isn't just a, a it's not a full restoration by any means, but it's, it's not just a paint job. So uh, it's, this tractor was a little bit hard to start um, when it was cold. And I don't mean cold weather, I just mean when the engine wasn't running. Even in this heated building right now where I'm sweating, um, the tractor probably wouldn't start uh, without using a thermo start, which is essentially a glow plug, sort of. Um, same serves the same sort of purpose. Um, so what we've done is we've got it all new injectors. Uh, we tested them. We got them calibrated. So we're going to put those in. Uh, we've also got a compression tester here, so we're going to test that, make sure it's all good. If it's not, we might even go as far as to do a full rebuild on the engine. So you know we're taking good care of it. We want to make sure it runs good. We want to make sure it works good, of course, um, if it's going to look good. There's no point in painting it if it's just going to be a painted turd, right? So I'm calling this a finished uh, job as far as the brush goes. You can see we've got most of the rust, surface rust and, and gunk off. Um, there was some actual dirt near these bolt uh, holes. Uh, that's all been addressed. Um, so it's not perfect. But uh, in this case, with the issues we have to begin with, if you want it to be perfect, you're going to be buying a new rim. And, uh, you know, you, you could easily spend a week here just, just doing this one rim if you tried to make it, uh, if you were a perfectionist. And I think this is going to look good. Uh, not perfect, uh, mostly because of these gross welds and, and that issue with the, the valve stem. Um, but it's going to look really good, and uh, we'll come revisit it once it's done probably in another video but we'll have to see uh, so now we're gonna get started on this one I guess this is another side-by-side -side comparison you can see the rust um, and then on the one we've already done you can see how it's fairly well cleaned off uh, so we're gonna get started on this one uh, we'll do the inside and then the outside and then we'll focus on that um, other axle the other spindle there and then uh, we should be done on the front here and then we can get these taped off and paint them uh, and we'll proceed from there probably with the engine and the we'll finish up the rear end including the rear rims I guess we'll leave you with this so we got it taped up and we did the rib not the center but the rib uh, and only one of them the other one's still there but anyway thanks for watching